Hey, thanks for stopping by and watching Coffee with Pips. I do appreciate you supporting my channel today. So today I'm going to talk about something that maybe not all of us feel comfortable about talking about. However, we all do it. So let's get into it right now. The Coffee with Pips show. America's favorite foodie. Not at all. Welcome. Welcome. Okay, and we're back. Thank you very much. Today I'm going to be talking about Poop Like a Champion cereal. It's real. It's not a gimmick. It's 79% daily fiber per serving. Okay, the serving is about a half cup. Well, it is a half cup. And you shouldn't exceed that half cup or you'll get all bound up. Okay, so I did try this cereal before. Smells like cardboard. Of course, it's fiber. I didn't expect it to smell anything different. Okay, so you have the little pebbles. They're very cute, though. I'm going to try this. Like I said, I had it before, but it was a while ago. I was going to do this uh, probably about six months to a year ago, and... I felt stupid. I thought, I'm not going to do this. It's not, you know, really a food review, but it is. It's something that you could put in cereal. You can add fruit to it, eat it in the morning. Like I said, a half cup, more than enough. It's great. It's only 160 calories for the half cup serving. But let it be known, there's only seven servings in this entire box. The entire box is like $11, $12. You can buy it direct from pooplikeachampion.com. You can buy it from Amazon. You can buy it from eBay. Uh, eBay can range it, can go all the way up to like $24 or $30 a box because people think it's cute. And then you can buy it for a joke, but it's no joke. It's really also what you expect um, all this fiber to be, the taste. You don't want to eat too much of it. Kind of, And you want to drink a lot of water because it's like cardboard going down. Drink a ton of water. Remember, it's not a laxative. This is fiber. So if you think you're gonna eat a half a cup of this and then you're gonna go, you know, on and and you're gonna lose 40 pounds or what have you, no. This is made to make you regular. So you have nice poops. It's important to get on a schedule and try to go at the same time every day. No, I don't like milk. I like almond milk. So you can use almond milk or you can just eat it as a snack like this, like I'm doing. It's really not bad. There's people that say fiber, you know, is just horrible. Get it, eat it fast, drink water. It's not. It's got a great texture, like fiber. I actually tried grape nuts too and fiber one. I was going to do a comparison and I thought, you know what? This is enough to talk about right here today. Oh, let me get a drink. I would have to deduct a star for the price though. It's something that you're not gonna have uh, weekly. Have it every other day or just a little, you know, here and there, like I said, you know, eat it, it'll be fine. So nothing happened with me when I ate it. Um, it did seem like I was a little more solid. Um, that's about it. I did expect to go like a lot. I don't like to talk about it though, but like I said, this is my show. I do need to talk about it. It's, it's very fibery. Grape nuts will break your tooth. Nothing bad against grape nuts, but this is a little softer than what grape nuts is. Besides, I got a grape nut stuck in my throat once. <sighs> Honest, I really did. Cereal will help reduce bloating. However, after eating it for a few days, I did feel 
um, you know, kind of all like bloated and um, kind of, I don't know, maybe stomach cramps and things like that. Nothing bad. Once I went, it was awesome. But it's, like I said, it's just, it's not fast moving. Maybe for some people. So my belly bloat was decreased um, really a lot. And my body retained less water. So again, now that goes with weight. I also recommend walking, jogging, exercising, keeping your body moving. And that's what it's all about. And that'll help too. Okay, I'm not going to eat any more of this because... Not that it's bad. It's just hard to swallow. That's why you have to drink a lot of water. Imagine eating cardboard chips. Okay, it's not that bad. It's, it's, it's not bad. I just don't like eating fiber like this. And a serving um, poop like a champion has 22 grams compared to fiber one with 18 grams. All brand has 15 grams of fiber. Simply Fiber has 14 grams of fiber. Now you can get natural fiber and take from uh, things like beans, all kinds of beans. Chickpeas, which is one of my favorite. Black-eyed peas. Artichokes. You can even fry those with a little breading or anything. You know, bread them a little bit and fry them um, in some olive oil. Whole wheat flour. Barley. Raspberries, blackberries, and prunes, just to name a few. I do want to mention some real popular ways of getting daily fiber. Not a lot. You can get it fast with this. Through lettuce, dark greens, broccoli, okra, carrots, pumpkin, blueberries, bananas, oranges, all that kind of stuff. So the list goes on. Just avoid refined grains like white flour, white bread, white pasta, and white rice. Whole foods are actually really the best way to get fiber because they um, include nutrients, which your body needs. So if you are real cautious, um, you know, like the vegan lifestyle, they certainly get um, their daily uh, grams of uh, fiber. However, you have to make sure that they're eating things with uh, more protein and whatnot. But I've seen some of these vegan diets and eat like that and you're going to have all of these things in it. Did I mention this is only 160 calories per half cup? Poop like a champion said they're different because they don't rely on cheaper wheat flours like a lot of the name brand foods. So it's a little quality um, and that's what they're selling. And so you're figuring that you're getting 10 ounces for $11.97. I know I said $11.95, but it is two pennies more. Um, it's worth it because you're getting higher quality. It's a matter of uh, getting yourself to buy this expensive cereal and keeping it in the house. It's, it's up to you. But it is the most fiber for the money. So you could buy a lot of boxes of the name brands and not get what you're getting in the cereal. So it's all relevant, it averages out. So it's just a sticker shock with one box of cereal being $11.97. I think it's worth it. And another thing, this is low in calories and it's gluten free. What I'm going to do, I'm going to join the number two club because I think that sounds pretty fun. I mean, it's real gimmicky, but who knows? Get their newsletter. You have some maybe jokes in there and you can share with your friends at work. And, and then you can belong to a club. You can be somebody. You can finally be somebody. If you're not already a somebody, oh, and then I saw on Amazon, you could buy all kinds of gimmicky things like, um, this poop chart. You can buy coffee mugs, calendars, uh, diaries, not diarrhea, diaries so that you can um, log your poops. I know people really do that. I never did. I never think about it. I never thought about it. But you can make a lot of things with this. Like I said, the, the muffins, you can add brown sugars, syrups, um, things like that. Add fruit, uh, almond milk. You can use regular milk if you like milk. Like I said, I don't like milk. Um, there's all different alternatives and you can make it taste really good. I did that um, as well. I used fruit, a little sugar. Actually, I used an unsweetened sugar and um, you know, berries and it was pretty good. So I think actually I'm going to give this out for Christmas to people that I think really need some fiber. I don't know if they do, but I think that if I think they do, 
I'm gonna have them have this. But like I tell you, don't eat more than a half a cup in one day. Um, you'll be sorry. I've sort of heard some horror stories that people had ate more than a half a cup. And again, it affects people differently. But it might sound kind of gross, poop like a champion, but like I said, we all need fiber. What a fun way to get it. Um, after you're done with the box, you know, put it out on the coffee table and company will come over and just get a kick out of it. Not really, because that's not what I'm doing. I have so many good things coming up. I'm telling you, I, this is this is yesterday. Poop of, like a champion's yesterday. I'm not going to be doing this one anymore. Most likely, I'm not going to be doing any more poop ones. I talk about um, more healthy foods. I'm going to talk about foods that you can make more healthy. Talk about foods that you can incorporate other foods to make them more healthy. But I'm not going to talk about poop like a champion again. I'm over it. You do need to check out the poop chart, though. You do need to get one. Frame it and put it in your bathroom or whatever. Put it in your living room. It's funny. It's hysterical. But you guys, I just needed to share this because I, I got a good laugh. Like I said, I tried it uh, months ago, but I thought, hey, yeah. I mean, everybody that I told about it, they didn't even hear of it. They were like, what? Are you joking? Is this a joke? And I thought, well, if they didn't hear about it, and I have like, you know, tons of friends. I mean, they're just like, oh, can't tell you, hundreds of thousands of friends. And not really. Everybody that I tell, they don't believe it. They don't believe it. So I thought, well, what the heck? I'm going to share it with you guys. Like I said, it's kind of not a, um, a subject that, you know, everybody wants to talk about. We all do it. It's just like, not, I mean, maybe... I don't know that there's a little poop etiquette in the chart and everything. I guess it's okay, but something I don't talk about every day. Well, I mean, I don't think I even talk. Why would I, right? You guys, I really do appreciate you watching. And if you stuck with me this far, please subscribe to my channel if you're not already a subscriber. And make sure to hit the bell and I'll keep you posted with new episodes coming up every week. Try to talk about and review something that you like, something that you feel the audience would like, other people would like. Let's share it. Just put your thoughts in the comments below and I'll make sure to answer you. Pretty straightforward. That's all I can talk about today. Because how can you talk about other foods right after you talked about poop? Thank you, everybody, and have a great week.